Stumbling on Happiness. If you have the slightest interest in the human condition, then you ought to read this book. Stumbling on Happiness. This book talks surprisingly little about happiness. Instead, it focuses on how we fail to predict how, how the outcomes of our current actions will make us feel in the future. We are not wired to predict the future accurately. In fact, shortcomings in our brain and our way of thinking make us terrible forecasters of how our current actions will affect our future happiness. The book brings my thoughts to Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman, but this is a more accessible and witty version of that, or at least it tries to be witty. It cites a lot of interesting experiments and studies, but it might leave you frustrated if you're anything like the average human being. If you think you perform above average in the skills that you deem important, if you think you are rational, if you trust your imagination to make appropriate predictions about what the future might hold, then you might feel like you've been smacked in the face after reading this book. Here's a taste of some parts of the book. The Curse of Knowledge. Once we had an experience, we can no longer imagine how it is not to have had this experience. Scientists almost always predict that the future will be too much like the present. One of the main ideas from this book is that we let our current feelings and experience influence how we predict the future. Our brains are hell-bent on responding to the current situation and mistakenly concludes that we will feel tomorrow like we feel today. That's why a depressed person who is uh, invited to a social gathering will predict that oh it will suck it will be no fun at all and but we also know right and you've probably been in a situation like this when you're exhausted off the work and you have a very gloomy outlook on your life and everything and if you get well rested you will feel totally different the day after this is a very common fallacy Another interesting point that is brought up in this book is that we tend to regret inaction more than we regret action. We regret the things that we didn't do and not the things that we did. But, and here is the twist, when we predict what we're going to regret, we predict it to be the other way around. One of the best ways to shine light on these fallacies and our mm, failure <laughs> to be great predictors about the future is to track decisions, track your feelings and review it. A great way to do that is to keep a journal. My main takeaway from this book is that reading books such as these can actually save us a lot of time, energy and reduce suffering. When we know about the cognitive biases, the errors, the misjudgments that humans are prone to, then we can avoid falling victim to them. This book left me both humbled and a bit sad actually. It's frustrating to know about all these shortcomings in our thinking and not being able to do much about them. I guess the only thing we can do is read up on cognitive biases, but we can't be on our guard 100% of the time, unfortunately. This is a great book and that's it for the review today. I'm back next week with more reviews on the topics of psychology, philosophy, human nature and human potential. So don't forget to press the subscribe button, the like button and comment below. I would like to know what you're reading this week uh, because I'm looking for more tips. So comment below and I'll see you next, I'll see you next week. Bjorn out.